The gas stove ban debate is boiling over. AOC is mocking Republicans who were concerned with a possible ban, despite having one herself. I do think it's funny that, like, absolute, utter Republican meltdown, where they're like, you can take my gas stove or my cold, dead hands, or how dare you talk about gas stoves? You have a gas stove. First of all, first of all, I rent, period. Second of all, though, it doesn't even matter because by that logic, these are the same people who would have said we should have never gotten rid of leaded gasoline. Just because someone may have driven a gasoline car, no secret, government agency is going to bust down your door and take your gas stove away. You know, a very interesting animation I see in her, Tyrus, don't you? Yeah. 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 I think uh, <laughs> yes. there's that golden rule that, and if anyone's ever heard this, I'll say it again at home. Never film yourself with a good idea when you've been drinking. Yeah. That looks like Wednesday night wine night. <laughs> yeah. Went terribly wrong. And, and, to say, and to say she's mocking, that's a strong world. It has to be clever and funny. Yeah. And, and whenever you do, and then they said, and there was no punchline or joke. <laughs> And she made the weird voice, and then you repeat yourself. And first of all, and first, first of all, that's the that's the wine burp in between it's, the yeah. two things. So <laughs> stop drinking, oh, well, stop uh, drinking, and way, filming. Tyrus and I not didn't talk about this ahead of time, but we think the same way. Yeah. All right. You know what? Well, the truth is, Martha. I mean, I cook with gas. You cook with gas? Yes, I do. Okay. Everybody who knows how to cook and wants to cook cooks with gas. I don't know if I know how but, to cook, but I do cook with gas. Okay. <laughs> but but the thing is. I think that she uses the gas stove a lot because if she thinks it's linked to reduced cognitive performance, then she is proof positive of that. Oh, well, I, I would just say that I don't, uh, I don't agree with her that they're not coming for your gas stove because they came right. for our light bulbs. Yep. They came for the shower head pressure. Oh, yeah. The toilet water pressure. Um, so they've already taken all these things. So I, I do believe that they are coming eventually for the gas stove as well. If anyone has ever done a renovation or built a house, you yep. know that Can't nothing turns out the way that it used to be. It all is like lower power and this is all government regulated. So I, there's no reason to think that they're not coming for the gas stove. It, you know, the truth is, Geraldo, that the nanny state, I mean, it's, it's getting to the point where you, you've like had enough. She has a perfect defense. And that is? She rents. Okay. The I don't... gas stove was in the property when she rented it. Okay. Let's forget about it. Are you worried about your gas stove? I could rent somebody over my car, but it's fine. I rented it. Yeah, someone on CNN said it's like a car. Having gas stove is like a car no, idling no. in your kitchen. I mean, is that ridiculous? I, I think you could do a whole series of shows about the lack of science attached to climate change. I, I think that it is scandalous to me how I remember the New York Times very clearly it was a uh, purported climate change, uh, alleged climate change, possibly climate change. Then one day they decided editorially that there was climate change. Right. And it was a, absolute. It was a it was an ideological, political Move decision, not a scientific one. Okay. So I think it's I think that there's of course we're concerned. Of course, I think the, me, I, I think the world's a lot cleaner than it was when I was a kid. I mean, L.A., the, when I moved to L.A. in 63, you could not see across the freeway. Oh, thank God for Gavin Newsom. Well, Jesse, uh, uh, Jesse <laughs> let, me, let me get to you on this thing with the gas stoves. If you're 33, you can't brag about renting. <laughs> and that's a shot at her fiancé. Oh, thousand That's a low-key shot at the fiancé to say, you better put me in a house soon. Also, her opinion is saying this. When the government comes in and says something is bad for you and takes it away from you, that's progress. Well, what about prohibition? They came in and said alcohol is bad. They took all the alcohol away. That wasn't progress, AOC. Yep. And of course we're paranoid. They, the government spies on us. They lie to us. <laughs> they probably funded COVID-19 and then they made us get a shot. And then yep. left it in the garage. And this yep. stupid water pressure. Exactly. I mean, my hair looks flat today. Don't you just want today. a good shower yes. where the water comes out really strong? <laughs> I yeah. need a little volume. <laughs> the amazing part of it is all you need is a vent. You need a fan. Turn it on and get and over Open it. the window. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.